Hello, I had a conversation with a teacher in another school just recently about the difficulties of teaching seasons, which is definitely difficult and hard to make it hands on. Um, and a lot of concepts here. So I was uh, describing this setup that I came up with uh, and I'm just doing a video so it could help someone else. So what I did and I did I had this, you know, this is like a press board here. You could use cardboard and then I did get some blocks of wood which I screwed and glued down and I also had to you had to drill holes in there at the 23 and a half degree angle which is uh maybe not easy for everyone so this is just how it works uh I used the tennis balls the sun I just really used materials that I had around like in the classroom and at home so that was the sun and then I have um summer labeled there winter there and this, this is a lab station that they do where they you know basically instructed to and have the the North Pole of Earth here. I drew the equator in, and it says you know put the uh, Earth at summer, and then I ask about the North Pole. How is it tilted towards the sun or away from the sun? There's questions like that, and there are questions. Um, you know, it's pretty straightforward questions, but it's just really the questions are just designed to get the students to actually physically see it and interact with a model. So in the and this is the winter, and the North Pole is tilted. How compared to the sun? So this is just some of the basics. Um, and then I have them, there's a diagram on the lab where they have to sort of trans, um, translate this to this diagram, which is set up a little differently. So that's just uh, something I was talking about. And it's it actually kind of helps um, as opposed to just being on paper. This is another station on the Seasons Lab, really trying to uh, help students understand the sun's path and all of the related uh, um parts to it so uh, i have this here the dome i put a like a like a i tipped an alien guy in there that i got from like a gumball machine I have a path on there and the compass rose so um they have a, a flashlight here now this flashlight isn't the best but i'll turn the lights out so you can see what i have them do and this is about the length of the shadow so i have them turn a light on and then i tell them to um basically i'm to to go along the path with the light pointed at the alien guy and notice how the shadow changes. Uh, this is a little hard for me to do. Let me see. How the length of the shadow changes from the morning time to noon and then the evening times. Yeah, it's a little hard for me to do this on the. But the basic idea is that once they get to here, they see the shadow is really long. And so basically, from, if I can try to do this, from the morning, you know, the shadow gets shorter. And then, you know, there's something about the shadow point of due north, that's solar noon. And then from noon to evening time, the shadow then gets longer. Sorry if I messed that up with the phone, this is kind of challenging. But this this works well, having them really uh, do some physical interaction with it. And, and the light really helps. And I've noticed since I started doing this, it uh, really helps student understanding. So a simple, simple-ish thing. I mean, it takes a little to set this up, but definitely helpful.